Hey there everyone! Today we're going to make a paint scrape castle. So, I hope you would like to join me in creating something a little bit like that. Alright, check it out! Here we go! Hey everyone, so for our paint scraped castle I'm just going to use a standard piece of paper. I've got a few sheets actually because I'm going to probably make quite a few of these. Um, I've got some scrap cardboard and I'm just going to use these flat sides to scrape my paint up my page. I've got some acrylic paint, chroma acryl, and some poster paint, paint splash. Two very different price points on these and we'll see how they behave. Might also use some white poster paint. Alright, so um, protect your workspace. This kind of paint tends to not be able to be washed out very well from fabric and uh, I'd hate for that to get all over your precious tablecloths or clothes. I've also got some pieces of newspaper here ready to um, put my painty pieces of cardboard on because otherwise I'll have nowhere to put them and it will get messy really quickly. Now the key to this project is we're not going to use a paintbrush. We're only using our cardboard to spread our paint out. All we need at the bottom here is um, a small amount of paint. So if we can, it's got a quite a big hole so it's going to be quite tricky. But if we can, we can just try and do a few small blobs of paint right at the bottom of our page. Oh, mine's turned into a line, that's okay. That blob was quite big. I'll work around it. This is quite a dark colour blue. I'll try and see if I can get it to go lighter with our other colours. And probably got even a bit too much paint already, but uh, add a little bit of white as well. Okay, this amount of paint is probably going to be enough for a few of these castles. All right, so I'm going to get my piece of ripped up cardboard using a flat side. I'm going to think about how far up I would like to scrape my paint. So on this side, I like to maybe scrape it quite high. Here we go. Nice. Might want to do a bit of jagged strangeness at the top. I could even take that back down again because I've got a few little areas down the bottom that didn't get a lot of paint. I might not go up as far with this piece. And I like to make a few little mini scrapes like this. Maybe even twist my piece of paper on um, cardboard at the top so it kind of makes an interesting shape. Next I'm going to maybe go up medium high with that one and then twist. And I've got a lot of paint over here but I think I'll go a bit lower again. Scrape again so I don't have to wait for too long for it to dry. I really quite like what's happened here so I'll just be careful and Spread that out a little. Okay, I've got some major blobs. So what I'm going to do is take my scraper, put my um, piece of painty paper over on a piece of newspaper that I've spread out waiting. I'm going to use my paper, my cardboard with paint on it. I'm going to do another castle as well. Use that paint on both sides. Got a lovely, lots of yellow, a little bit of sort of a green that's happening. Go down again. Hmm, quite like that one. It's more on the side, which is interesting. Alright, I'm starting to really run out of paint on my piece of cardboard, but I'm going to try and get as much off there as I can lying it right down. All right, I might do a couple of little splodges. Try and see if I can get them small just to finish this number three castle. Tiny little bit more. Let's see if I can get it. How's my paint control? Hmm, not too bad. Oh, spoke too soon people. All right, <laughs> here we go. I'll take that up again. Maybe this one not so high. Got a nice blue area down here. 
So just keeping in mind that however high up I go with my lines, my scrapes, that's how tall my castle building or sand castle, whatever you'd like to make <laughs> this into, that's how high that will be. I quite like what's happened here, so I'll leave that. Okay, I'm going to um, let these dry in a sunny spot. I might get a rock or something heavy outside that can get a bit painty, just in case, and let them dry in the sun or maybe in front of a heater, and then we'll come back for our second step. All right. Okay. So luckily it's a nice sunny day in Perth today, and my castles have dried. Here's two of them. I can tell that they're dry because they don't have any shiny spots left, even on the thick areas of paint. So that's a blessing. Okay, so I'm going to choose one of these to use as my castle to show you how we're going to finish our activity. So I've just got a black texture here. It can be any old sort of texture. It doesn't have to be black, it's all up to you. You could use lots of different colours. But this is how I'm going to turn my paint scrapes into a castle. Okay, so I'm going to choose a little place for my castle entrance to be. Okay, I'm going to make my castle quite large, so I'm going to do a small doorway. Okay, up here is going to be a tower, so what I'll do is maybe do a few of those cutout areas that people used to fire arrows from. All right, I'm going to use this piece here. There's another tower. This one's going to be behind that one. Going up to here. I might make this one a princess's bedroom balcony. So here I might have sort of a flag. Oh, sort of a tall flag with a little pom pom on the end. Might put some more flags on those other towers as well. And basically, you can use your imagination to come up with anything you like for your towers. So.
Okay, keep on going as much as you like, filling in all your castle details. And we've turned a bunch of painty scrapes into a pretty cool castle. Okay, enjoy.